first carry for Christian McCaffrey. And he'll wind up with about six, up past the 30 to the 31. The game's first play produces six yards, brings up second down. The last run got six, now second and four. Newton going to hand it off to McCaffrey. And he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Third play of this opening drive as they're looking at a third and three. From the gun, here's Newton. And he finds a man. It's McCaffrey. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. A nice first down pickup on a gain of six. So when you saw him dump it off to the back, did you think he was going to pick up the first down there? Well, I knew one thing. It wasn't his primary target. At least it didn't look like it. Turned out to be the play they needed, though. And it's big because it's the opening drive. So converting that third down, keeping the play, not the play, the drive going. Yeah, it certainly appeared like his downfield targets were covered. He threw the little dump off to, the, to his back. And nice effort picking up the first down, though. And you're right. That opening drive, keep those chains moving. 20. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. They try and run on first down, but this one going to lose a couple yards as they get him behind the line. A loss of two there, second down. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. On second and 12, Newton, and this is caught, it's Greg Olson. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 20-yard line. I do believe we'll see a little bit more of this as this game progresses because when you can have that type of a game in the middle of the defense, it hurts them in so many ways because most teams like to be strong down the middle. And if you can sting them there, that opens things up for you on the outside as well. But that's where he, their big tight end, is so good. That middle third, the seam routes, the in routes. Yeah, you're right. Probably see more of that. Yeah, it takes a lot of courage and fortitude to go in the middle as well. And he's got it. After the incompletion here, second and 10 from the 20. Throwing again. Newton. And that going to be incomplete. A lot of contact, no call, and it's third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions. Third down here in 10, but you're still in field goal range. And that's the thing to keep in mind. They're in field goal range. So now you don't take any unnecessary risks, but you try and find a way to get back to what you were doing earlier in the drive in order to finish this one off. Throwing on third down, Newton. Gets this to his running back. It's Christian McCaffrey. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And perhaps now close to the first points of this divisional round game as it's first and goal. Here's Newton. The quick slant caught. A gain of seven that time, second and goal. Good yardage on first down. Now can they punch it in on second and goal? Check, check, check. Throwing again is Newton. Under pressure now, and he's going to go down just inside the five-yard line. Chandler Jones coming in hard that time on the blitz, and he gets him down. It's a loss of four. Now Newton on third and goal. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. From four yards out. And the Panthers take it right down and score on the opening drive. Tavecchio good on the extra point. Forget about the storylines of being intimidated in the playoffs on the road. I mean, that was pretty clinical right there. Yeah, they didn't treat it like it was a playoff game in January, did they? No. Look. That felt much more like, hey, we're back in August, running a few drills in the practice field. They seem unaffected by what they're facing in this one. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This one taken from the seven. 
And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a gain of 11 and a Cardinal first down. Throwing on first down is Murray. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Luke Keekley. the blitz works to perfection as he gets in there to dump him for a loss of eight. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Murray's throw on target to Christian Kirk. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Throwing is Murray on third down. He's got his target. It's the tight end, Tyler Higby. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers 42. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. Back in Arizona, second quarter action. It's the Cardinals in possession as they've got it with a second down and two coming up. Murray, a quick throw out to Kirk. He'll get the first down and more inside the 20. Touchdown, Cardinals! Christian Kirk, 34 yards as they are now on the board here in the first half. I know these wide receivers are about flash and dash and high-flying plays, but a good number of them played running back at some point in their career, and that's how they finish off a lot of their big plays, run right after the catch. And this time he finishes off the big play in the end zone. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Then he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. And he'll get about four across the 30 to the 32. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. On the tackle that time, Shelby Harris. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping... This big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. From the 41, Newton. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Ryan Switzer, the intended target. But now it'll be third down. The Panthers on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This is third and seven. A shotgun snap for Newton. And that's complete to McCaffrey. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Give him 10 there. Good enough for a Panther first down. It's a nice job hitting him on the angle route there. Come out of the backfield, cutting sharply across the middle. And that's good timing between the quarterback and his receiver. Effective third down play to move the chains. Back to throw, Newton. Open man is Switzer, complete. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Looking to throw again on second down. Newton, he's going to look deep for more. And this is going to wind up incomplete. 
The coverage there too strong on the deep ball, and now they face a third down. The Panthers on third down, a perfect four for four thus far. This will be third and five. Again, Newton. He'll drop it off to McCaffrey. Oh, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Here we go on four. Newton. And my goodness, this is incomplete. Coverage that time by Deontay Thompson. Even though they didn't get it, probably the right call. Too long for a field goal and just not a whole lot to gain from a punt there. Yeah, you wouldn't have really netted very much yardage if you pumped the ball, right? And the thing about a field goal, and you know this from so much experience, the longer the field goal, the lower it comes out off the kick, right? Which means it's got a better chance of being blocked. So you're taking a chance either way. I like the fact they went for it. On the ground, this is Johnson. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. To throw on third down. Murray. Murray fighting. Lost the football. And it's picked up by the Panthers. And they will take over at the 26-yard line. Well, partner, they went empty set there. No bats in the backfield. All receivers out in the pattern. And in this situation, you know what the quarterback has to do? Act as his own blitz control. Yeah, he's got nobody else there to protect. No one else there to protect, which means he's got to get rid of the football and absorb the hit, but not go down and fumble the ball. They'll wind up losing three yards here, and it'll bring up a second and 13. Go, go. Newton to throw. Here we go, get off the field. Buying time to his left. That's going to be caught. That's good for 28 yards. On any given pass play, you never know exactly where your exit points are going to be. On this play, it was flushed to his left, still on the run, able to accurately throw the football for a nice first down. Gun, Newton flushed out and he will score touchdown Panthers Cam Newton with his second touchdown here in this first half and the Panthers have taken the lead well this was a pass all the way but he just kept buying time didn't he it was kind of like wait wait oh it's open time to hot foot it and go and boy, was he successful. Yeah, didn't go to the outside toward the pylon, just straight ahead, middle third of the field. Shortest distance between two points, straight line. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. We always hear about empty possessions, but some are worse than others. You can have an empty possession, pump the ball away, get yourself set to play defense. But when you turn it over, it changes momentum. And when they take it downfield and punch it in on you, that's a bad possession all the way around. Yeah, but you're hungry to get back out there, aren't you? You better be, because otherwise, it's going to be a long day for you. To throw on second and ten. Murray. And it's caught by Crabtree. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. That goes for 14 yards. First down, Cardinals. Open man is Kirk. Complete. Give him 16 yards there. And it's a Cardinals first down as well. now on first down that's going to be caught by Kirk and he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40 able to get 7 on that first down pass play, 2nd and 3 throwing again Murray and he fires one that's intercepted 
picked off at the 16. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Andy Isabella was the intended target. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Still more than a minute to go, so you know, there is time if they want to mount something here. Not only time, but they have three timeouts at their disposal as well, so that changes everything that you're doing here. Without those timeouts, you can only work the sidelines, hoping to get out of bounds. Here, the middle of the field is still available because you can call timeout and regroup. And a nice gain of 21 yards. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. Operating from the gun. Newton. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. And the Cardinals have got it. Going the other way. And he'll get it all the way down inside the 35-yard line. We have seen this before. And we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. The Cardinals are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. To throw again on second down. Murray under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Now the Cards going to call another timeout, their second, as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. On fourth down, here's Andy Leon to kick it away. Christian McCaffrey deep for Carolina. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, let's and go, it'll be spotted go, go. Spotted at the 14-yard line. Here we go. Here go. Here go. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. You're under a minute to go here in the half. Field position not really in your favor, but still time to try and move the ball and get in field goal range. Yeah, you've got the lead. It's definitely a thought. Let's go ahead and try and increase it. But at the same time, I don't like the odds. I don't like where they are in the field. Got the lead. They've done well in the first half. Don't mess it up and go into halftime looking at each other wondering what if. A well-executed 22-yard gain. So from the 36 now, first and 10. From the gun, Newton. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. Flush to his right. And that'll be incomplete with 11 seconds remaining now. Curtis Samuel, the one he was looking for. And it's second down. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Escaping the pressure right. And that is incomplete. Stopping the clock with five seconds to go. He was looking to get that one to DJ Moore. And it'll bring up third down. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions. Have a look at it third and ten. I can't believe they A final shot before the break. Newton. And he's going to go down. Couldn't get a throw off with a pressure. Maybe that was for the best, as that brings us to the end of this first half of play. So we've come upon halftime here in this NFC division. And just like that, on we head to half number two. A trip to the NFC title game hanging in the ballot. Second half action back underway. This one taken from the seven. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there, just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. From the gun, Murray. Got it complete to Crabtree. 
And they'll bring him down here right around the 17-yard line. It's a gain of five, and it'll be a second and long. Off the draw, here's Johnson. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile. He stopped that one behind the line of scrimmage. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. It's a 15-yard pickup, but it'll lead to a fourth down. That's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath by all means. Here's Andy Lee now as he'll kick it away for the second time. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And he didn't quite have the back spin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. The Panthers offense now, they head back on the field for their first possession of the second half. They have the lead here. Well, we talk a lot about pregame speeches. What are halftime speeches like? For the most part, not nearly as emotional. They're a lot more clinical. Every now and then, though, they'll get after you if they think they need to light a fire. But in this case, let's go into the virtual locker room because here's what I think happened. They got in there and they said, listen, let's take control right away. We've Defense, got we've, got the de we've, got the, we've got the lead. Defense, don't give up any points. Turn the ball back over to the offense and let them go down and score and give us more of a cushion in the game. Check so far. Defense shut them down. Let's see if the offense gets done. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Here's Newton. Eluding the pressure right. And Thomas has it. And he'll be out just a yard or two on, shy of the 30. Go. It's a Panthers first down, 17 yards on the play. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. To the air again, Newton. Oh, incomplete. A turnover would have really helped there. Almost intercepted. Instead, it's just second down. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. Newton now to throw. He'll let this go for the end zone. And that'll be incomplete. Good protection that time, and they couldn't hook up on the long one. Now it's third down. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they look to throw. Oh, and this ball's tipped and intercepted. Picked off by Robert Arthur. And he's able to get it back to the 33-yard line. This interception will go on the record of the quarterback, but as a receiver, you've got to understand where you are in the field. Middle portion, you know it's going to come in hot. Square your body to the quarterback and be ready to make the catch. Here's a run on first down that won't even get back to the line of scrimmage. He will lose a yard, second and 11. It'll be a loss of a yard, and it'll be second and 11. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Fake handoff to Johnson. Now here's Murray. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. So one quick, easy analysis about why they've struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than a normal. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. This has been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game, the way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. This is taken at the 18. Good blocking there. Nearly sprung him as it is. It'll go as a 19-yard return. And the Panthers will take over now first and 10. Carolina getting set to take the field. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, 
that does him no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their own 37. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. He was trying to get that one into the hands of Christian McCaffrey. And that'll bring up second down. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Draw play as Newton gives to McCaffrey. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Got his target, Samuel. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Flushed out right. He's going to take off with it. 23 yards on the tuck and run. We got this. So an instance there of Cam being Cam. We know he can use his legs. And with that big body, it's hard to get him down, even if you get a clear shot on him. Plus, he moves it a lot faster than what people think. And boy, does he have fun playing the game of football. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. It's the Panthers out in front and in control of the football as well as we begin quarter number four. On second down and four. Newton, they'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. Christian McCaffrey, his second touchdown of the night. And the Panthers, they widen their lead. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors, but that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. Extra point up and good by Tavecchio, and it's now 21-7. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. And here now the offense heading back out there. And several days ago, you and I talked with a couple of the guys in the meetings about how big is home field advantage. And they kind of downplayed it a bit, but I think we're seeing here today building up this lead. Looks like they're going to win. Why home field advantage in the divisional round so important? Yeah, they may have downplayed it, but we could also sense that it was important to them because nothing has to change. You don't have to uproot anything. Sometimes when you're going on the road, you may have to even leave early in order to get acclimated if it's going to be tough environment against the team you're going to play. So being at home was a big deal. But now they know, at least they feel like it, they're moving on to the championship round. There's got to be no better feeling. They'll get that 24-hour rule in. <laughs> Enjoy that before they look forward to the next opponent. Murray now, 12 of 15, throwing the ball. 80% so far, and it's first and 10. On first and 10, here's Murray. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Back to the air on second down. It's Murray. Open man is Higby, the tight end. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just let them lead the game out that way. Now a pass hauled in downfield. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Christian Kirk with his second touchdown of the night as his guys are back within a single score. So that's a really big play here in the fourth quarter. And don't look now. They're right back in this game. Did it feel to you, as it did to me, that maybe they were a little bit soft in what they were lining up with on defense? Almost like they were protecting the lead rather than trying to make a play. And now that lead is down to just one score. This will be fielded at the eight. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. Let's go. Let's go. 
The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. They have the lead, obviously, late in the game. I guess the good news for them is if for some reason they would make a mistake, a field goal does the opposition no good. Everyone loves to have a little bit of a cushion, and that helps you immeasurably. But the bottom line is... Do all the things that you're taught in order to close out the game. Don't even let that become an issue. Yeah, but still a one-possession game. This one not fully over yet. Throwing again on second down. Newton, and he's got McCaffrey open, complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Panther first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. The shotgun snap for Newton. He finds his man, the tight end Olsen. And he's got this down to the 35. It's a Carolina first down on a gain of 16. Another nice pickup through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect him to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swing, slant, quick out, things that they consider safe. Newton, meanwhile, here connecting with McCaffrey. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. It's a Carolina first down on a gain of 16. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. To throw again. Newton. And he's got his man. It's Samuel. Touchdown, Carolina. Curtis Samuel there to make the grab. And the Panthers, they widen their lead. And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes for the defense, tough to find the little guys, right? Yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic. But usually what it means is that rather than just winning with height or even speed, they use their quickness to find a way to get open. Well, tall, short, wide, skinny, whatever. There it results in a touchdown. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Christian Kirk and company heading back onto the field. Seems like the measuring stick for a receiver for a great game is 100 yards. Well, he's well past that now. And as we analyze how he's getting... And I think he's going to go. They're not going to get him. He's at the 30. 10. Touchdown, Cardinals. And he is a Bella. 75 yards as his guys are back within a single score. Not a whole lot to recap on that drive. Just one play, 75 yards to the house. Yeah, it's a long way to go. And remember, rarely is it a straight line 75 yards, too. Got to have a little extra in there. So whatever the final number is, a well-deserved seat on the bench, a little oxygen if he wants it as well. This is taken just shy of the 10 here. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. Curtis Samuel and the rest of the offense heading back out there now. He's been a load for them to handle defensively. I know that much. Well, look at him. He's got seven catches on the game, and he's starting to shred them a little bit because not only is he catching them, he's picking up good yardage, keeping the chains moving, ball control, you name it. This big guy, what did you say? He's been a load for them to handle? That's right. He's Agreed. This has seven catches, as you said, over 100 yards. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. complete to McCaffrey. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That'll put him north of 100 yards receiving now in this divisional round game. It's a first down. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. On the ground, McCaffrey. Shaquille Barrett in on the tackle. Undercooked, 
fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. Gun, gun, gun. Gun, gun. Watch the twist. Boom, boom. What is it? From the 44, Newton. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. So now Cam leads the Panthers out following the sack. Carolina facing third and long. Now Newton. That's to McCaffrey complete. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. Now the Cards going to call another timeout, their second as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Kill, kill, kill. He's coming. Double up, double up. Here we go on fourth. Newton flush to his right. He can run for it, and he will. The Cardinals forced to burn their third and final timeout, and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. So first and ten now from the 30. Now it's Newton. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. That was play number seven on this drive, and it got him seven yards. They're going to hurry back to the line now. 20. Newton to throw. Now they go screen. It's complete. McCaffrey with a first down and more. And finally taken down at the four-yard line. A good-looking drive so far for the Panthers and a first down here. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen with their faking people. And this is caught. And that could seal it. It's a touchdown. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Tavecchio good on the extra point. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Kyler Murray now in the Cardinal offense. Down by two touchdowns, 47 seconds remaining. This crowd has stayed with them throughout, but they need two late scores to it. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Brian Burns in there to drop him as that clock continues to run. After the sack on first down, Murray escapes the defender. And he's going to get this deep on a Carolina side of the field. So they stay alive in the NFL playoffs, move on to the conference championship. And do you think that the printing press is starting to get those T-shirts and hats ready, my friend? They have to, Brandon. They have to be ready because if you win, you've got to hand those out on the field right away. And just think about the pressure for the players now. Families are going to be talking about tickets to the Super Bowl even before you play the conference championship game. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say good night from Glendale.
about to make a play. Move the chains, tell them get about the way. Move the chains, I'm about to win the game. Move the chains, baby, tell them get the chains. I score up in the end zone, do my dance all on a hater. A mover and a shaker, you a novice, I'm a player. I'm from DC, but I'm running through and sacking like a raider. Two chains on my neck, one for now and one for later. And we don't play fair, baby, we play for keeps. You can pass me up, this is not a bye week. I'm looking for a trophy competition, looking steep. Yeah, I'm training, I've been focused, I've been bombing from the deep. Championships. All my records go hard, it's a champion hit yeah. I've been working for this moment like I've been in the gym Jumping all over hurdles, I'm evading the pit Yeah, hit it here with anybody, take them, I can shake them yeah. I invite them to the fire, then I bake them, I'ma break them I'm a Hall of Fame legend, they should go and hang my jersey yeah. Made to put in work, I don't think they really heard me like yeah. Who the chains, I'm about to make a play Who the chains, tell them get about the way Who the chains, I'm about to win the game Who the chains, baby, tell them who the chains Ain't no stopping me, ain't no topping me, I am up From the jungle, suit it up. Yeah. You kicking off against me. Hope you ready, get it up. Yeah. I be booted up, popping out a sprinter or a truck. Uh. Whole team chasing bags while they chasing us. Yeah. Calling audible, I read the game. I think it's time to switch. You get hit if I miss, then my teammates got the blitz. Yeah. Hey. Move the chains, I'm about to make a play. Make Move the chains, tell them get about the way. The way. Move the chains, I'm about to win the game. game. Move the chains, baby, tell them move the chains. Yeah. Yeah. My bad. Yeah. Uh, first of the month, I'm a running back. Ay. Same day, why I'm a running back. Yeah. Friday, payday, running back. Ay. Running back, running back, running back. Ooh. 48 yards, I run it back. Ay. I cop a car, I run it back. Yeah. Go your uh, then run it back. Uh. Running back, running back, running back. Hello? That's the Jag calling. Dunk it. Let me click over real quick. The let my Jag talk it. Dunk it. I eat it. Ooh, Pat Man. That's the way my neck talking. Right? I ain't never coming back the way the stress. You don't make no clap back. But I'm past that, but an ass back, that's cash when the money fall, I'ma slap that. Clap when the money go, you don't slap that's fast if the money low, I'ma grab brown man when it come back, I'ma give back my bad when the check hit the direct hit. I'm glad when the check missed the direct hit. I'm sad like who's that knocking at my window? My window. They say that it's the money, I'm like ten four and out. That's gonna make you duck like a limbo. She says she not a she and hey. Why you do that like that? like that? It's a lot of money. Why are you mad like that? Like that. Ooh, ooh, I'm in my new bag, my bag. My bag. You ain't getting get too bad, my bag. Yeah.